Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Expect the best. Believe something good is going to happen, and it usually will. I'm telling you. Just think about it, folks. We're more powerful than we realize. Just put that thought process out there, and boom, here it comes. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 23, NASDAQ down 16, S&P's up a buck and a half. Major failure, folks. Right across all the indices, Dow was up 200, S&P's were up 20 bucks. Bottom line, what did you do? You went to a higher high, lighter volume, failed on price and volume. We're going back downtown. Gold contract down $8.70, traded 1,124 an ounce. Silver flat at 14.66 after being up at 14.95, couldn't hold price. Oil up 63, traded at 46.88 a barrel. Bonds 10 year up 8 ticks, 127.13. 30 year up 19 ticks at 154.19. The 10 year is inside the larger range. 30 year still uh, needs some price spread in order to get up into that larger range. King dollar, King dollar uh, up 501 ticks at 96.34, and a mind blower about that. It's, I believe it's 96.35, it has to hold. We'll go through that though. I uh, had volume, and this is on the minor swing point, not the major swing point, by the way, folks. Euro, Euro down 98, trading at 111. The yen off a quarter of a penny at 119.98. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want we'll to know what's going on in your world. Now, in the world of the spies, folks, this is what you have. This is going to get really wild, folks. What's going to get so wild about this is going into a long holiday weekend. You have a market that is highly volatile. You have a market that went topside today. Couldn't hold price, has light of volume, you get a rejection of higher price and light of volume. Now, what does that set up? That sets up a run to the lows that were generated out here on the 1st, which is Tuesday. You get the jobs number happening in the morning, and we have the long Labor Day celebration. You also have China closed. So they can't, you can't blame China. I'm not saying you personally. Uh, the press is going to have been blaming China for the downdraft. Bottom line, they can't clear, uh, blame China because China is closed until this coming Sunday night. So, what do you have? Bottom line, the, the spies today go to 198.05. You have 145 million shares. You fail on price. Yesterday we did 160 million. Today we did 146. We went down. On 256 on Tuesday, and I'm not even talking about the big day down on two and 507. Bottom line is that you failed. You're inside the bar, and this is the danger part. You're inside the bar of the 24th. That bar of the 24th, the disaster when we went from uh, the 197, you know, to basically 190 price point. Bottom line, we're inside that bar. We're going to be making a run, and I expect, by the way, you're going to be making that run tomorrow. And normally, yes, normally what would end up happening is that coming into a Labor Day weekend will be quiet. I expect coming into this Labor Day weekend tomorrow is not going to be quiet. The Qs, same setup in the Qs. What the Qs have done is this. Got to a price point today of 105.02. Couldn't hold price. We had gone down on 73 million shares. Yesterday we went up on 43.9. Today did 44. Bottom line, couldn't hold price. And the culprit inside that, by the way, uh, is the IBB. Uh, when the IBB goes south, folks, it cracks the NASDAQ very quickly. And this morning, uh, you, could actually, you could see it. Uh, and this is where you want to really get, get your head wrapped around not only the um, different sectors, but the weighting structures inside those sectors. Because the S&Ps were up 20, and the NQs, which are the NASDAQ futures, were only up 20. And that makes zero sense. The, when the, the S&Ps are up 20, the NQs are up about 60 to 65. What that was all about was inside the IBB, it was weak. Well, the IBB basically dragged the NASDAQ down, NASDAQ dragged the rest of the indices down. The IBB closed at 338.64. That also 
is inside the 24th bar, that the low of the IBB on Tuesday was 331. Guess what? We're going to be at 331 tomorrow. More than likely, we'll break it. Now, the IBB, I expect, tomorrow is going to give us a huge amount of information. This is why. Friday, on Labor Day weekend, you should do dramatically lighter volume. The IBB has volume of 2.2 million there at that low tomorrow, or at that low period, that uh, 331. If you break that low tomorrow with volume, that's a monster heads up because that is going to be so hard to do because of the fact you get a holiday weekend happening. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Gold contract it comes down. We have light volume. Uh, we Price-wise, we're approaching a lower swing point. Didn't get to that swing point today. Um, this will go after it tomorrow. That's, that's the way it seems to be set up right now. Now, I don't, uh, what we had with gold today is this. We got to 1121. The swing low that it's going after is 1116. We only did 102,000 contracts versus 207. So bottom line, it held, which is positive. I would have liked to see uh, it hold price, meaning uh, get up there at about 1130, which it was trading at one particular point. Uh, silver, we take a look at the silver market, and what you have with silver is that silver had the move and then gave it up on the move, and it wasn't enough volume. So silver did get to the 1495. It's trading at 1466. The number to watch on silver is 1442. It's above that number, which is a, which is a good deal, but that is the number. Okay, now King Dollar. This is a this is you, you really want to wrap your head around this one because King Dollar, folks. Uh, bottom line should have went to the moon today. And this is why. When Draghi came out this morning, this European Central Bank, he comes out saying, hey, listen, we're going to go after this um, quantitative easing till December of 2016. We are, right now, folks, what they were doing, they were buying 25% of every bond issue that was out there. Well, that was the max they could buy. And, then, and there's a lot more bonds in the United States than there is in Europe. Now they raise that to 33%. So bottom line, technically, fundamentally, that should weaken the euro. Well, guess what? The dollar folks couldn't even hold 96.35, and that's the swing point. That's a monster heads up, because that is not the major swing point. The major swing point on the dollar is 97.10. So that's telling me that we have a shot tomorrow, tomorrow, to not hold the 96.35, because we're not there right now. And in fact, we very well may start backing down. So tomorrow, you can expect some fireworks out here extraordinary. Um, you know, the markets tonight uh, in Asia, they're closed, so it's not going to be a big deal. It will be a big deal in Europe tomorrow morning that we couldn't hold price. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We're coming back with our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, because when we talk volatility, folks, okay, this couldn't be a, be a better time. Our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, is going to be doing a workshop next Thursday night on volatility. We'll be right back.